Welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, we are going to see some control statements. What are these control statements? These control statements are used to control the flow of the Autolist program. Why do we need to control the flow of the program? That is, sometimes based on the result of a condition, that is, if a condition is true, we may have to execute one statement. Similarly, if the condition is false, we may have to execute another statement. Say for example, you have a number. If you divide it with 2 and if the remainder is 0, then we will say it as even number. Similarly, if the remainder is not 0, then we will say that as an odd number. In such cases, we will use this if condition. In if condition in Autolist programming, only one statement can be executed in true block. Similarly, if the condition is false, automatically the immediate following statement will be executed as false statement. But sometimes we may require to execute more number of statements if the condition is true and more number of statements even if the condition is false also. So to execute a set of statements based on the result of a condition, we will use this program. Similarly, sometimes we will have more number of conditions, not one. We will have multiple conditions and for each condition, we may require to execute different statements. In that case also, we will use cond. So let us see one by one with some examples. First of all, we will see how to use if condition. Try to write a small program to find whether the given number is even or odd using if condition in Autolisp. So let's go to Visualisp IDE, VL IDE at the command prompt and press enter. Now take a new sheet and tile it. I have a small damage on my screen, so I'm stretching it a little to the right. Well, so first of all, the comment. Program to find given number is even or odd. Well, start the program. So as usual, parentheses different c colon even or odd evo is the command and closing parentheses. Well, now we need to ask the user to enter a number, read it and store it in a variable. So I'm writing like this set to n get int backslash n enter a integer number and close so with that we will get the number into n now we need to divide it with 2 and read remainder value into r so set q r remainder function is there and then n to be divided with 2.0 or 2 even and close so here the remainder of n2 means when the number n is divided with 2 whatever the remainder comes up that will be returned and it will be stored into variable r and here we need to check whether r is equal to 0 or not well so as we are reading integer it is enough to write 2 here well, here I am writing like this, if equal to r0, so this is the condition, first of all function that is equal to then argument r0, if r is equal to 0 then what to do, the first one is true statement, I am going to show a pop up message to the user that the given number is even, so alert the given number is even well that is the true statement if this condition is true the immediate following statement will be executed if this condition is false then the second statement whatever the second statement the given number is odd the second statement will be executed and we need to close the if block promptly well so that's all then we need to check this code so go to tools menu and check text in the editor. So it's done and no errors found. Again, load it into editor. So click this button, load active edit win window into AutoCAD. 
then do remember our command is evo go to autocad and type evo at the command prompt and press enter you can see it is asking to enter an integer number well i am giving 10 and you can see the given number is even so the first statement is being executed well we have got it similarly once again type evo and try to enter 11 at the command prompt now you can see the given number is odd so well it is working fine let us say you have another statement to be executed along with the number is even or odd message so how to do that here comes up the progon function so the progon is nothing but it will make the set of statements as a single statement means it will execute a set of statements as a single statement so we need to use progon like this progon the first statement again i want to show something else um we will show another message over here and progon so here in progon i am writing say statement one and this is statement two you can see the given number is even it is saying first time again i am showing the same message for second time so here i am writing two means this is second time so let us see the same thing similarly we will write program for the second set also means false case also so this is the first statement and take the second statement also and close the progon properly very simple just write progon starting parenthesis progon and you can write any number of statements within the progon block and then close the program promptly that's all so let us save this somewhere say i am saving this over desktop with some if kind okay then we need to check this using tools check text in the editor well there are no errors again load it into autocad back to autocad now again type evo at the command prompt so now it is asking similarly enter a integer i am entering 10 you can see the given number is even this is the first statement you can see one in the parenthesis you just press enter you will get another message the given number is even this is the second statement which is being executed you can see two in the statement sorry in the message right let us try the false case also i am entering 11 you can see the given number is odd this is the first statement similarly if you press ok it will show again another message the second statement will be executed the given number is odd so this is how if and program work in autolist programming the if condition the if statement is requiring one condition and based on the result of this condition it will execute first statement as true and the second statement as false if you have multiple statements to be executed in true case then you need to put a program as a block and you can write any number of statements within the program block similarly for the false case also so hope all you understood how to use if and program in autolisp well now let us try to understand how to use cond statement when there are multiple conditions and we have to execute different statements in each condition we shall write another program to understand cond function in that we are going to ask the user to enter a number within a range of 1 to 7 if the user enters number 1 we will show a pop up message saying that the color is red if the user enters color number 2 then we will show a pop up message yellow color right so let us try that one go to vl ide and i am writing the program comment so program to show the color of given number well define c colon say c n means color number and empty parenthesis and closing bracket now we need to ask the user to enter a number so similar set q n 
get int backslash n enter a number within a range 1 to 7 close close so enter a number from 1 to 7 so when the user see this message he will he will enter a number so okay now we are going to use con function to check what is the number and if the number is 1 we will show its color okay then to write the con function starting parenthesis con and here we need to write the condition like this bracket is equal to n 1 so here this is the function and if this function is means this is the condition if this condition is true we will pop up a message say red so color number 1 is equal to red color so here you can observe we have started count with a parenthesis and count keyword and then a starting bracket within that a condition and the statement to be executed again we are closing this set if you have multiple conditions over here also you will have to write a program over here and you have to close the program sorry like this okay so we are not going to use anything like that as of now we will have only single statement so here one condition and one statement try to understand first this later you can use program also even in the cunt function well so for if the number is one we will show up red if the number is two we will show yellow well if the number is three we will show green if the number is four we will show cyan if the number is five we will show blue if the number is six we will show magenta if the number is seven that is white if the number is not in the range so how do we decide that one simply say true means whatever the number we will think it as out of range so we will directly write true means the condition is true we are deciding ourselves and showing a message like this alert given number is out of range that's it so at the end we are not going to check the number is which uh, means what is the given number we are directly going to say that the given number is sorry the given number is out of range well so here this is a fall through type first of all it will check whether the given number is equal to one or not if it is true it will execute this statement and it will come out of the condition so all the remaining statements will be left over otherwise if the first condition falls then only it will go to the second condition and it will check the second set of um, conditional statement if again it will check whether the given number is 2 if it is 2 it will show a look otherwise it will go to the next statement and it will check whether the given number is 3 like that when only the first condition is false then it will go to the next condition otherwise it will execute that statement and it will come out of the condition so when the condition fails then it will fall through all the cases and at the end it will go to true block and it will execute the last statement if it does not match with the given in given conditions well let us check how does it work we need to first close the condition so i am writing closing parenthesis and this is the cond now we need to check text in the editor check done no errors again come here and click load uh, active edit window and go to do remember the con, uh, command is cn then go to autocad and type cn at the command prompt and press enter now it is asking to enter a number within a range of 1 to 7 let us try to enter 
one. So you can see it is it is popping up red. Let us enter the same command and enter two. It is saying yellow. Let us enter three. It is saying green. Let us enter five. It is saying blue. Let us enter seven. It is saying white. Let us enter nine. See what happens. See it is it is showing up. The given number is out of range. Well, so this is how we use conditional statement in AutoList programming. So how to write this conditional statement? Bracket start condition and another starting bracket in which we need to write the condition and if the condition is true the statement to be executed must follow the condition like this and you need to close the same set as well like that you can write any number of conditions in cond function and in the last you can write or omit this is optional if you have a if you have a default case means if all these conditions are false then what to do if you have such thing to write then you can put a true over here and you can write the statement which is to be executed in such case generally this is called as a default class or a default condition well so this is how to write if program and condition in autolist programming hope you understood how to use if condition and program friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching this video and welcome to the next session friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session